Hello everybody. I am Mike Levin, SEO.com. And this video is to kick off my SEO consulting business. And this is the breaking in of my new uh, Samsung uh, selfie camera, which you can see right here, yeah, right here. And to launch the website on this, the Raspberry Pi model B+, Plus, which I just made a video for, which was actually just released, which I'll be using to host new websites that I create and SEO um, tools, free and open source tools that I'll be providing you, given that I'm someone who is sort of like one of these unknowns in the industry, but created things like Hittail. Now, I'm not sure how, how many of you are familiar with this, but there's a huge change in the field of SEO where the referrer variable, which is the words in the search hit, were just passed over to you freely by Google. So Hittel tells me that my website is being found for small Linux distro for virtual PC, Python advantages, and there's a whole bunch that don't have keywords. And if I stepped through the results, you'll see uh, Raspberry Pi versus CU box, uh, advantages of Python programming language. This used to be a black river of keywords that revealed to you so much information about your website, it was almost uh, unfair. Uh, you could l apply algorithms to that data and figure out the exact topic you should write about on your website to take results that were previously buried many pages deep, uh, but for which you had the propensity to be found and were being found buried deep and make the determination that you did not deliberately target those keywords. So if you deliberately targeted something for which you had the propensity to be found, bam, you're on the first page of results rinse and repeat, and even sites that have topped out at what they think is their maximum daily audience find themselves going up by 10, 20%, which was remarkable for sites that already have a lot of traffic and are well established. I'm not going to be teaching you how to do Hittail. That ship has sailed a long time ago. It's still a great service. They updated it, the people who run it today, to import all your data from Webmaster Tools. So it's still a great writing suggestion tool and is the best way to grow your organic traffic. But Hittail and other tools like it have picked that particular application apart pretty far. And I'm just going to recommend people to use things like Hittail and Bright Edge that talk about striking distance keywords. I'm going to be developing free and open source tools to do many other things. And as you see, from the hits leading to my site, people are telling me there is an interest in Python and the Raspberry Pi. So, in addition to teaching SEO, I will be jumping on the bandwagon of what some might call, being read by, led by the Raspberry Pi, the anti-cloud explosion. Why? In order to build audience, on a topic for which I might actually be one of the best people to lead the charge, because I'm going to be taking paths much less traveled, like MikeLevin.com will be hosted on a Raspberry Pi uh, Model B Plus home hosting or hosting out of my office on a Verizon Fios line with a static IP. And I'll be putting a website there using what you might think of as no web server beyond Python because Python has a built-in web server which makes it a great basis for new frameworks that people make. There's one of the best ways to kick the tire of Python is to create yet another new framework. That is because Python itself is 80% of the way to what people think of as a framework. So it makes things like writing uh, Django, and, which is a big one, but smaller ones like Flask and um, Bottle.py into a much, much smaller project. So I'm going to be choosing 
one of my favorite frameworks um, called PyGreen, which is sitting on another one of my favorite frameworks called Bottle.py to make the absolute most lightweight website that is as understandable as you can be because there's few pieces running in the background. There's, no, there's not even Apache or um, any sort of web server as you traditionally think of it. It's just a running Python script. And Raspberry Pi is named the way it is originally because of the language Python. Pi stands for Python. And so I'm going to be trying to bring things back around to do what some purists within the Raspberry Pi Foundation originally imagined, which is th these devices are primarily a way to teach people to run and keep running their own code. And that is going to be a major thrust of my website in addition to teaching you SEO because I hear through my previous web, en web endeavors that this is what people want from my site. So um, please subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.